For stocks, they are headed higher today as economic reports point to recovery. David Sowerby is portfolio manager at Luma Sales, which is $135 billion in assets. He is positive on the markets and sees value in small and mid-cap stocks. David, great to see you. It's great to be here. Thank you Let's get your much. comment on the markets today. We've got a solid rally underway. A lot of people like stocks, a little bit more risk. Uh, on the margin, the, the needle moved in the right direction on the economy with respect to, to claims. And I think we're going to find out that while it's still a punky holiday season, consumers are, are still, I think, encouraged by the gains in stocks since March. And there's a high correlation between holiday sales and what the stock market has done for the previous three or four months. Are you concerned, though, about this 10 percent unemployment? You, I mean, you said a punky uh, holiday season, so it's got to be related to, uh, 10 to unemployment. unemployment. We're going to get the retail sales tomorrow. It's got to be reflective of that, no? And, and, it, and it, we know, obviously, it's a, it's a value-driven consumer. But I think in the end, when we count all the retail sales, and that ironically goes into January for you know, lazy people like me who use, uh, who use gift cards, I, I think it'll be a, a number that's probably up 2 to 2.5% two for, for most retailers, maybe as much as 3. Something doesn't tell me. I don't think you're all that lazy, actually, with all of this research you're doing and, and all of your outlook. You're particularly bullish on small and mid-cap stocks, as we said in our intro. Now, despite the gains we've already seen off the March lows, what's going to drive those groups into the new year? Sure. If I'm giving a scorecard on small mid-caps versus large caps, we, we know, number one, off of a bear market bottom, small cap stocks, mid-cap stocks usually have a two-year period of, of better performance to large cap stocks. And we're roughly only 10 months into that to that trade, so there's still room to go. Second, when real GDP or the economy is improving from a negative growth rate to a growth rate closer to 3%, that bodes well for uh, small and mid-cap stocks. But the most important indicator is and always will be when credit spreads are tightening and the in the bond market for corporates and high yield bonds continues to fare well that has traditionally been the best indicator that small and mid-cap stocks can create significant alpha for portfolios. And we are seeing that. Now, part of your strategy includes playing low versus high quality stocks. So first, differentiate the characteristics and then talk about which group you think is going, to, you know, because I guess it's been the low quality stocks, these speculative buys, right, that have been big uh, leaders in this rally. Sure. What and one, that's changing now, correct? Right. One, one person referred to it very well as the flood or the run to crud. And, <laughs> and that, that trade started to end, I think, in mid to late September. And, and quality is such an overused term in my business. Who would hire an investor that says, I buy low quality stocks right. at I bear crud, market? Right? Yeah, I buy, I buy junk at bear market bottoms. <laughs> However, if you look at consistency of return on equity, accelerating return on equity, debt to, debt to capital, less leverage, um, better free cash flow, I've seen the higher quality names resurfaced since roughly late September, early October, and I think that has an important, important play on investors as we struggle for returns in the next six months. And you didn't show up empty-handed. You gave us some examples of those kinds of stocks, some of your suggestions. Sally Beauty Holdings, SBH is the ticker. What is it about this stock that uh, entices you? C consistency of earnings and consistency of cash flow. It may not be the most exciting stock in, in the marketplace, but 3,000 stores, very disciplined growth, very disciplined balance sheet. Sally, which is a spin out out of Alberto Culver a couple years ago, we've made good success in spin out stocks. Sally fits that mold. Another industry, casual dining, right? Oh, Charlie's uh, ticker CHUX. This is another one of your recommendations. The shares are up like 200% year to date, though. It's a high flyer. It, it is, but it's given a considerable amount of ground back in, in the last month, so I think you're getting a better entry point today. And a catalyst here is, is really management. A successful CEO, previously Phil Hickey at Rare Hospitality that sold to Darden, is now on the job at O'Charlie's. Same story with their CFO. That's an important catalyst to us in, in a stock that is a little deeper valued than most uh, casual diners. And I think casual diners are a better place to be potentially over the next year than, than quick service or fast food. And you've got a broader economic story there too as a well. Absolutely. Intervale Leisure Group IILG year to date 127% gains. You got three sell ratings from the analysts too on this one. Well that's great. I, I, I don't want to buy a stock where there's eight buys and one hold. It's okay. when there's when there's doubt or suspicion on the sell side that's when okay. you make your most money. Interval David, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but we are running out of okay, time. David Sowerby, Luma Sales, thanks Thank so you. much. You Appreciate bet. your picks today.